the present now will later be past. The order is rapidly fading, and the first one now will later be last for the time. We're very privileged tonight to have the world's foremost expert and authority on the world's most abstruse and obscure topic here with us. And Dr. Fishlove is going to give a lecture entitled <laughs> Unknown Animals Extinct or What? Dr. Fishlove. <coughs> The dragon. The dragon is a large, monstrous being with a large, monstrous body and thousands of tiny little scales. At one end of the large, monstrous body is a large, monstrous spiked tail. At the other end of the large, monstrous body is a um, large spiked tail at the other end of the large <clears throat> yes, <quite. laughs> uh, the dragon the dragon is a large monstrous being with a large monstrous <coughs> spike <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, the spike no that's not it at all. <laughs> well, actually, this isn't supposed to be a speech about a dragon. This is supposed to be a song about a dragon. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea. And frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Oh, puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist. In a land called Anali. Sing it with us. Up the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Anali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail and Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whene'er they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Oh, Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist. The magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. A dragon lives forever, but not so little boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened. Jackie Paper came no more And Puff, that mighty dragon He ceased his fearless roar His head was bent in sorrow Green scales fell like rain Puff no longer went to play Along that cherry lane Without his love
lifelong friend. Puff could not be brave, so Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Oh, Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land gone. 